Now, joining me for Pet Corner today is canine behavioural consultant Kelly McFarlane. But we're not talking about training dogs today. Instead, how you can train your cats and rabbits. Morning, Kelly. Good morning. So hang on a sec. You spend a lot of time training dogs. That's I your do. job. You train dogs. But you say that you can train your cats and your rabbits too. Really? I've got a cat. I'm not so sure you can train a cat. You definitely can train them. It's just most people, I think, generally either think they can or they choose not to. Well, what about if your cat chooses you not to train them? Because that's how cats, <laughs> they rule, don't they? It's all about, same with dogs, it's all about basically having something that they want and making sure you reward them with the right thing. So you've got to think of it as a pay scale. They want paying really good stuff um, for getting them to do something. They want pay parity, fair enough, yeah. too. Uh, what sort of things would you teach your cat or your rabbit to do then? Yeah, so you've got really basic training, just like you would with your dog. So teaching them their name, how to sit. Um, I mean, obviously bunnies most of the time are sitting anyway. And then certainly you've got things um, as the clip that's playing with regards to the cat doing a, an awesome agility course, which you can also get your rabbits to do as well. No way. So you can really? have a lot of fun uh, with your animals, no matter what the species. But that's an exception. Cat, isn't it? That's like not your normal cat. That's like not, not like my ginger. That's what people believe. It's just, you know, that cat's very well trained and uh, it's obviously been worthwhile. So, you know. Like catnip sewn into the hem of her jeans or something. <laughs> I've got to wonder. Uh, so do, do animals, do they, do they get a bit bored um, like dogs if you train them for too long or you try and train them for too long? Oh, definitely. I mean, look, at the end of the day for any animal, including ourselves, you know, if it becomes so repetitive to the point where you're like, oh, I'll do another, I'll have another go, have another go. Before you know it, you know, the animal's already walked off and especially if it's a cat it's gone outside it's gone for a little while um, but you know for us as well it gets a bit boring so yeah definitely they get fed up so what would you reward them with if they get the trick right um, again it depends on the animals so you know if you're looking at your cats I mean usually it's really tasty treats and um, there's a lot of good ones out there on the market uh, for, for bunnies again a lot of the time we find the, the little um, food pellets work really well for rabbits but you know it really depends. I mean, there is the, the bunny I was telling you about on Facebook that has his own little pokey machine and he hits the pokey machine and the carrot drops out and he's uh, very happy with so that's that. That's really cool because so you can toilet train rabbits, can't you? You can, yeah, yeah, exactly like cats, so they can use a litter box. So they which, can be house bunnies. Yeah, which is becoming more and more common now. Yeah, yeah. everyone's getting a rabbit. Everyone yeah. seems rabbits seem to be on trend at the moment. I guess they're quite a good pet too because their lifespan isn't as long. <laughs> as you know well I mean people think that but weirdly as well again they you know I am seeing with with our pets they're certainly living longer and I think it's because more people um yeah are fully aware of you know kind of how they should be looking after them and getting the right advice how would you train an a rabbit though not to chew all the tv cables <laughs> if they're free well, range the, yeah the first thing is management so don't have all your cables out everywhere for the rabbit to get and you could potentially what do, you do with them <laughs> <laughs> and then you can potentially teach the animal um, especially rabbits but you know you can teach them probably a leave it cue as well so you know that they're not to go over what sort of cue like ah or something no i teach them the word leave it just like you would with a dog so okay, see yeah. I'm, I'm boggling because I'm just thinking about my kitten who well we haven't tried to train him because he's a kitten but he rules everybody he rules the dog he rules the family he rules everyone he's like 12 weeks old uh, what do you think people why do you think they don't try and train the cats or the rabbits again for most people it's just they think they can't or the animals independent I mean that's how we do see our cats they're very independent animals they're out doing their thing um, but you know as I say for, for them it's yeah it's a, it's a good thing to do you should give it a go it probably is a good thing to train your your animals isn't it any sort of animal yeah and, and again like I say you can teach them really basic training stuff or you can have fun and teach them you know high fives or how to do a little circle you can get them to weave through your legs like you can have a lot of fun with it okay so how would I teach my cat to high five so a lot of the time you do it through um, obviously you've got to use treats I don't have a cat here today to demo but we'll probably have to do that again as another segment and um, but generally it's more of you know for a lot of animals they are they naturally br bring up their paw so the minute the cat touches um, your hand with their paw you just reward them so you know you can encourage it at first with um, play so you can use some mm -hmm. toys and encourage them to to wow. play with their little feet okay so, what yeah. if you if you want to uh, train them not to claw your <laughs> anything claw your bed or claw your sofa or anything like that so you've got to use things like really good redirection so when they're clawing stuff they're actually marking um territorial okay. areas right. so yeah so they're, they're actually showing other cats this is this is all mine this is where i live so, so it's got to be sort of you got to divert them something like, oh, yeah, yeah something onto, else. onto really good scratch posts and don't chuck the scratch post away when it looks absolutely mangled which is what people do go and buy one of those ugly things okay <laughs> yeah. i will do hey thank you so much kelly that's been enlightening and if you'd like more great advice or help training your pets bunnies cats or dogs just head along to kelly's website